what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Three white male students who are members of the Kappa Alpha Order fraternity at Ole Miss were suspended from the fraternity. Forget this, y'all. Posing with guns in front of a sign dedicated to Emmett Till. The sign marks the location where Emmett's body was found. Emmett Till was 14 years old, a young black boy just starting his life. When he was kidnapped, beaten, tortured, and shot for allegedly an altercation with a white woman who lied and said he whistled at her. These dudes got busted because Ole Miss has this, I guess, some type of organization or something like that called Bias Incident Reporting Team. <laughs> they have something called the Bias Incident Reporting Team who saw a post from one of the guys who were posing in the picture. He had uploaded it to Instagram. And this happened actually months ago, back in March. Somehow it's just coming to light. But a member of the Bias Incident Reporting Team, <laughs> Bias Incident Reporting Team, reported it to the school. The school officials then reported it to the uh, what is it, the university police. They reported it to the FBI. The FBI did a thorough investigation and concluded that because there was no direct threat, no charges, no arrest would be forthcoming. Unfortunately, this is not the first time Emmett Till's memorial has been vandalized. This is actually the third iteration of the memorial. Twice it was vandalized and had to be replaced. Where do these animals come from? Who raised them? Let's take a look at their mother and father and I can guarantee you, you would get a very good idea of where they come from. It's an old saying, when a kid is cutting up at school or in the neighborhood, just go knock on the door and wait to see who answers it. And that'll tell you all you need to know. This is where they come from. People aren't born racist. They're indoctrinated. They're taught, oftentimes by their mammies and their pappies. Their school teachers, yeah, they got school teachers who teach this indoctrination, who teaches racism. Coaches, pastors, members of the clergy, and, you know, friends. This is why you have to pick your friends like you pick your fruit, very carefully. This is why parents have to be involved with their children when their children are introducing or being introduced to new friends. Parents got to be involved in that if they care about such a thing. It's a myriad of things that could happen when you're not involved with your children. You don't know who your children are hanging out with, what type of belief they have, what type of belief their mother and their father have. That's very important. I'm not surprised this happened uh, stuff like this happens all over the United States of America, and I don't see an end in sight. I used to think that maybe the kids could save it, but these fools were kids. You know, they've been indoctrinated, and the cycle continues. What do y'all think can be done? What's the answer? I, 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 don't, I don't think I have an answer for it. Y'all got an answer, let me know. I would love to know. And, and what do you think should have happened to them? I personally think they should have been kicked out of school at the very least. But keep in mind, 
It is Mississippi. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Damn.